Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've made a video, but I wanted to just pop in today and say hi, and also tell you all about the Wilma Economy Tube Washer and Cleaner for NMR sample tubes that we got in the lab not too long ago. Now, this is a really cool piece of glassware that's made by Wilma, and um, my professor got it in not long ago so that we can clean NMR tubes more efficiently. It's actually a really cool device, and I wanted to show you how to use it and hopefully this is able to help you out. It's kind of a continuation from my how to clean NMR tubes video that I made previously. So if you want to, you can check that out and to see how to set up the NMR tube cleaner and um, you know how to actually go through the entire process. But this part today is just gonna be showing you how to use the uh, Wilma Economy Tube washer and cleaner for NMR sample tubes. So let's get to it. All right, so this is what the actual device looks like on the setup NMR tube cleaner. Um, as you can see, it's almost identical to the way I set it up before, except this time we've just got the Wilma piece of glassware going straight through this top stopper instead of the funnel that I had in place the last time. But other than that, the setup is the exact same. So in this nozzle right here, there's a inner tube that you slide the NMR tube over that you wanna clean. And then in this reservoir here is where you actually pour your solvent. So again, just as last time, it's going to be water and then acetone. And so I'm going to show you how we do that. It's actually really cool, really easy. And yeah, let's see it. All right, so I have the NMR tube I want to clean. I already took off the post-it note and I already took off the stopper. So now I'm just going to slide this over. And you can see it already doing a great job of sucking up the stuff that's inside. I'm going to pour water into the solvent reservoir, followed by acetone. And that's it. Look at that, that's awesome. So, as you can see, we got to get it focused. It works really nicely. Um, if you notice that the device doesn't, or sorry, that the NMR tube doesn't clean 100% right away, like you can see, I still got some brown on the inside of there. I'm just going to continue to rinse with acetone, but yeah, only a couple times it should work just fine. One thing I want to make sure that I mention is that when you slide the NMR tube into the tube holder slot, you don't want to just drop it in there or plop it in there because this thin tube that runs from the solvent reservoir and goes into the slot, you can see here, is actually really thin. And so if you were to drop this with enough speed or enough force, it would actually cause that to crack and render the device almost unusable. So you want to be very careful about sliding it down nice and slow, nice and gentle, and then adding in your solvent, of course, water first, followed by acetone. And look at that, nice and clean. And then once it's done, of course, you can continue on to clean it the same way you would other NMR tubes. So, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna head over and pop these clean tubes into the oven upstairs. But I just wanna say thank you for watching the video. And again, feel free to check out the how to clean NMR tubes video that I made previously so that you can understand the entire setup and the ins and outs of how to clean NMR tubes completely. So thank you so much for watching and you all have a wonderful day.